In Balinese life, you see offering done every day. That's one of the way how we celebrate the life, because life is a celebration. In a temple celebration, that's where individuals, the Balinese people, the family, the community get together, making this offering, celebrate the life. The offering is the way of our life. It's done because this is the way how we celebrate the life. Life to us is a blessing. That's the way how we're ready to life, just through the offering. We do that every day as part of the daily lifestyle. And this is done through the heart. When you first come to Bali and witness your offering for the first time, it tends to start a process within. The use of incense, the physical offerings themselves, the beautiful body movement, it's all about recognizing and celebrating that love for the spirits and honoring the spirits. We do offering every day. It's uh, twice uh, a day, in the morning and then in the afternoon. The incense, it's a symbol of the Brahma God. It's uh, for, for the Creator. The water is uh, the symbol of the Vishnu uh, God. It's uh, for the Protector. The flower is uh, the symbol of the Shiva God and it's for the destroyer. The hotel is a guest in the community and with the temple being in the core of it is really about a very sincere relationship. We are guests and we are there to honor the spirituality and the truth of the people and the more sincerely and authentically that that's done I believe the more positive the karma and the relationship between the hotel, the community, and, and, and the sacred elevation of Bali. The mother earth, the trees, the animals, they all had spirits. That's why in Bali so much ritual, ceremony, always something happened wherever you go. A number of times when we do have guests in any of our hotels in Bali, they see the priest or they see one of the beautiful ladies making the rituals, sometimes they feel that it is a tourist offering. And then all of a sudden you explain is the fact is that, is that spirituality in Bali is not for tourists. It can be derived and enjoyed by tourists. It's for the people and it's the connection to the gods. There is just that connection between the human and the spirit world. We perform this Okokan dance as well as the Tektekan in order to conserve our culture. This is a very sacred performance which we usually perform especially in a ceremony. I want to make a bad spirit far from us and as well as also a foreigner who visit Bali feel free from the bad spirit, not only in Bali but also in their own country. To us, the offering is not just individual thing. This is something we do in order to create a harmonious living for everybody. Not just for the people who are doing the offering, but for the people who come and see this offering.
in the Balinese ceremony, you're not just people, see people doing chanting. Art is there, offering is there, chanting is there, music is there, dance is there. This is a total living of Balinese culture. We're trying to take this a little bit of it, share it with people who come here. And hopefully they feel the energy, hopefully they feel the positive thing of Balinese life and could bring it all over the world. What we're trying to do through Bali Spirit Festival is get people from all over the world to come here, to share. To have incredible experience sharing their culture and also sharing our culture to bring up the happiness in life through the culture, through the yoga and through the music. Bagi kami orang Bali, berkesenian itu uh, merupakan bentuk dari offerings and blessing bagi siapapun yang mendengarnya. From Bali to the world. I think this is good collaboration, good spirit, good heart. I think it values for the world. When we come together as community and celebrate, dance, breathe, meet each other, inspire each other, cross-pollinate with each other, we create positive change. Feel when we when we play music together, and we sing together, and we make circle together, and we learn to love together. Music can make us together. I do believe that Bali Spirit Festival with other festival happening here in Bali is really good for Bali. It's really good for the world. Everybody come home with a little bit of inspiration as part of Bali Spirit Festival and bring it home to stop something good. For me, festive and festivities and dance and song, it's the highlight of life. Life equals ceremony. Ceremony equals circle. Circle equals continuum, continuum equals upward desire to elevate. Upward circle of potential is a festival of life. When people come to the celebration, everybody could create a better understanding of each other. And with a great experience, with a great energy, with a good vibration, bring it out. Create a better living from Bali to the world.